And that's that's going to be the first part of our segue into our next discussion, which is yes. all about some of the best jump scares that we're aware of. I wouldn't say it's the best jump scares of all time necessarily, but these are some of the best jump scares that Wes and I have experienced in games in our decades long of mm. playing them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so Alien Isolation, right off the bat, he just mentioned the first one there. Um, we do want to mention off the top of this part too, there's a game that Wes and I haven't played, but it's like renowned for jump scares, and that's called Outlast. There's a series of them. They're supposed to have some of the best jump scares as well. Wes and I have never played it, but if you guys want to check out something that's supposed to have great jump scares, go check out Outlast. That was the uh, the game that takes place like in the dark or infrared, and you're in this insane asylum or a jail. That's the one, right? I think so. I, I remember everything I was like black one. and green. Like, yes. I don't know if you yes. have like goggles on or something. I don't know why the hell everything's yeah. black and green, but I, I yeah. do seen that in the game. I couldn't play. I couldn't play. I, I've known friends that have played it, and they're like, oh my God, the game was so scary. I can't play. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play. <laughs> I mean, the... I'm going to segue into this next section. The game that I had to stop playing, I need to go back and do it. Uh, it's fantastic. I just couldn't handle it. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. And that was playing Resident Evil 7 in VR. Um, there's a few different jump scares in the game. Mm. Wes is going to mention one in a second. But just to kind of segue from what you were saying, I couldn't finish that game because I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Like I would play 20 to 40 minutes max. And I'd be like sweating and panicking and having to take off my headset. Like I can't do this anymore. And then I just never went back to it after, after doing that a few times. You know, I didn't I didn't progress very far into the game, but it scared the living crap out of me. Yeah, I got a bad heart. I can't I can't do the VR. <laughs> I, I, I I torture myself and do just the regular ones. But I, dude, in VR, I just I wouldn't. I would my heart would just stop and that'd be it. And I'd be dead. <laughs> My heart's apparently fine, but I really felt like I was going to have a heart attack. So I, I had, I literally had to stop because I was like concerned. <laughs> can't, can't do it. Can't do it. But you know, you're talking about Resident Evil. I mean, probably the number one jump scare that everybody remembers is from Resident Evil One, when the dogs jump through the glass. That was the first time I remember being scared in a video game. I was at my friend's house. Yes. And I think he set it up so it was like he knew it was coming because he was laughing his ass off after it happened. But like me and my other friend were there, like, oh, you got to check this out. And I don't remember if I was playing or my friend was, but man, when that dog busted through that window, I was so freaking scared. And we were playing at night. Like it was the middle of the night. Yep. All the lights yep. were shut off. Everybody was asleep. Yep. It was just like the, the three of us playing this game. And I never played anything like that before. I was like, holy crap, what is this? That was that has to be the number one jump scare on everybody's list. It's gotta be. If you if you've experienced that, then it has to be on there. I mean, I don't know if the same effect holds up today because it's been out for so long and you know right. they, the, the remakes <laughs> and stuff, but it's if you live through that, right? That's on yeah. You can't there, tell me that didn't scare you. There's 12 year olds listening now, like, that's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> Played some way more horrific shit than what we're talking about. But at the time, oh, at the time, it was intense. It was intense. That, that did, I stopped playing because I would play at night like you. I'd sit on the floor and just play in front of my television and I'd stop playing. I was like, oh, nope, I'm done. <laughs> we did have another one you wanted to mention about Resident Evil before we move on to some other horror games. And this was Resident Evil 7. Uh, I didn't make it this far, but you put in here Old Lady Pit Fight. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow. Okay, so if anybody has played Resident Evil 7, there's a part where you're fighting the old lady, and you win, and you're in a pit, and you knock her out. So you you climb out of the pit, and I'm running to the door, and she jumps out of nowhere. <laughs> I threw my controller and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I, yeah, I had to go take like my heart medicines or something. Cause it was, it, it did me in, man. I just it imagine doing that in. VR. I <laughs> <laughs> my daughter was laughing. 
because uh, she was watching me play. And, yo, that, that, please tell me in the comments, you know what I'm talking about. I that wish I made it that far, so I knew I, I would know what you're talking about. But unfortunately, I did, I didn't continue playing to get through that point. Yeah, I was like, oh, she's I knocked her out. She's good. She's still in the pit. <laughs> so I have a similar story. I mentioned this before, so I'm sorry if it's a repeat for some of you guys. But uh, playing the first Condemned on Xbox 360, you get to this place with all these mannequins and stuff, and I forget the names of like the different types of enemies there. I have no idea. But you see this enemy ahead of you, and there's a, you're in a room full of mannequins, and he goes down like down a stairwell. Mm -hmm. And you know it's a shooter. You have guns, and you have like melee weapons, and your your, your gun ammo is kind of limited. They want you to use the melee weapons. But I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna try to sneak up on this dude because I don't know that he saw me. All I know is that this this creature went over the top of a stairwell and down. So I'm like walking through all these freaking mannequins, which is already creepy to begin with. And I get to the point where I'm like, instead of walking down the steps, I'm just going to look down and shoot if I can shoot him. And as soon as you look down, a quick like cut scene happens in a jump scare. I think jumped up like at the screen. I threw my damn controller and my hand was underneath my keyboard because I was connected to like my uh, my computer monitor. Uh -huh. Cut my hand. I started bleeding. I was like, oh my <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> damn game just made me bleed. What the hell's this? But wow. I, I was terrified, man, and like that scared the crap out of me. That game was awesome, by the way. I do remember the mannequins. I yeah. definitely remember the mannequins, and I remember them just kind of showing up. It's like, oh my god, mannequins are creepy as they are, anyway. Yeah, it was already but, creepy just dealing with that. Oh man, uh, yeah, no, I remember that. It was uh. I mean, it wasn't a jump scare, but something kind of similar was when uh, in the DLC for Resident Evil 8, The Village, you're playing as the girl, and you're running through a house, and there's like, when you turn your back, there's like these mannequins that are following you, and you hear them. But when you turn around, they stop. Right, they're just they're mannequins again. Yep. And their their eyes glow and I was like, Yeah. I'm playing this in the daytime when my wife is home. <laughs> Eight I never played, man. That's still on my list of things to do. I, I there's a gold edition that I'm gonna get eventually. Uh and the gold edition has a VR mode. So that's the plan to get the gold edition at some point in the future for eight. Well you, well, you have fun with that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably do the same thing I did with 7 and play it to like an extent and I'm just like, alright, I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm sure that's what's <laughs> going to happen. Uh, this next one is one of yours, too. Uh, so this is Fear, which w I brought that up and you're like, holy mm. crap, I haven't thought about Fear in a long time. Um, uh, this is a series, again, I never played, but you have some familiarity and what was the joke there you would have mentioned for Fear? Oh, fe okay. As a whole, Fear was good. Fear was really good. It was a first-person shooter with bullet time that was oh, a bullet, okay. was a that was a bullet time was a thing bullet and, time if you guys don't know what that is if you're younger or something it's basically that feature that if you ever played like max Payne, where you can slow down time when you shoot that's in the matrix right exactly in the matrix when neil was dodging bullets that's bullet time everything kind of slows down around you and um it was really good but it was a a horror game it was scary so you are a mercenary, and as you are going through the, your level, you come to a point where you need to climb out of, you need to climb up the ladder to get to the next floor. And the girl that you kind of see throughout the game, her name is Alma. So as you're climbing up, you get to the top, and she's just standing there <laughs> out of nowhere. Like the lights go out and it's like, oh my god, that's awesome. Oh man, yeah, that was definitely a jump scare because you were not expecting it at all. Right, I'm sure the camera at you don't see all. crap, and then all of a sudden you get up there and she's just there, like, oh no, <laughs> and she's just there. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but no, fear as a whole, as a as a series, is pretty good. One, two, and three. Yeah, now fear Decent stood game. for something. It was like. Something 
Oh man, yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna remember. But fear stood for seven. It was like F-E-A-R. it did. Yeah, it did. It was an acronym for for something. Right. It's it's, it's eluding me now. I'm not gonna remember it. But uh, yeah, I always heard those games were good. Uh, check them out if you guys can. The final one I want to mention. Uh, this was one of mine. This is another VR game. So I'm sure Wes didn't play this, but this. This was one of my earliest VR experiences when I first got a PSVR, you know, back in the day. I, I don't remember what year it came out. But uh, Until Dawn was a good game. And Until Dawn on Russia Blood uh, was a... It really had nothing to do with Until Dawn other than there was some, some same creepy stuff in the game. Which is, I guess, why they used the title. But you're basically on a roller coaster. And killer clowns and all sorts of other demons and stuff are, mm-hmm. you know, out to get you. But there's... I don't even have one jump scare in here because there's just jump scares all over the place. And it's horrifying. Like the first time a clown, a killer clown jumps out at you and they're like in VR, in your face, and uh, they have like a meat cleaver. Yeah, you're going to remember that. It's going to stick in your mind for a while. Especially if it's one of your early VR experiences. And that definitely stayed with me. Uh, giant mm-hmm. spider at one point, like right in front of your face, jumping on you. That's, that's fun. <laughs> um, but check out Until Dawn, Russia Blood. It's a, it's a great way to scare the crap out of somebody in VR. I can't do it. I got a thing for clowns, man. I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, clowns are freaking creepy, man. That, that one evil. definitely got to me. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Nerd Enthusiast Gaming Podcast for Halloween time, October 2023. We appreciate your support. Uh, if you guys want to support us financially, that would be fantastic if you feel like doing that. Patreon.com slash Nerdthusiast is where you would go to do that. You can support us for as little as $1 a month uh, and get exclusive content over there. At the $5 level, you can get early ad-free access to a variety of our shows, including this one. Wes, thank you for joining me today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's always, always fun to talk about games, so I enjoy being here. Heck yeah. If people want to keep up with you, where can they follow you at? You can follow me at Grendel5XBX on Instagram, or you can catch me at Level Up Entertainment at the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey. I'm at, you guys can follow me at from NJ2CA over on Twitter. The two is a number two. Make sure you guys follow the company also at Nerdthusiast. We're on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're probably on there. Thank you guys so much for watching this month. Until next time, you take care. Take care, guys.